eyeball bakers. So bold baking is my fearless approach to baking anytime, anywhere, even if you don't have an oven. Now you have seen me make some crazy stuff in a microwave, like microwave mug pizza, crispy potato chips, and even a cheesecake. Well, right now I am going to show you how you can make a whole red velvet cake straight from the microwave in under 10 minutes. As always, the recipe can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com, and make sure you head over there because I've got lots of recipes that aren't up on YouTube. Okay, let's start out in a large bowl. Add in your flour, sugar, cocoa powder, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. And then whisk all these ingredients together. So a fun fact about red velvet cake, it actually is a chocolate flavored cake, not red cake like a lot of people think. Also, I like to add in a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla just to bring out the flavor in the other ingredients. Okay, so now we're gonna move this to the side and we're gonna mix together our wet ingredients. So first up, our eggs. Now, if you do not eat eggs, don't worry. Check out my egg substitute chart on my website so you can know what to substitute them out for. Then into this, we're going to add in some buttermilk, flavorless oil, vanilla extract, and some red food coloring. And then just very carefully whisk all these ingredients together. So I love seeing buttermilk in a recipe for cakes because it means that your cake is going to be really tender. The acid in it softens the gluten in your flour and just yields you a lovely, fluffy, soft cake. So here's our wet ingredients. Now this is a lovely red color. If you want it darker than that, then feel free to add in a little bit more food dye. But as of right now, I'm going to add my wet ingredients into my dry. Now with a whisk, just mix these ingredients together. Now you know my rules about whisking flour. You don't want to overbeat it or it will actually toughen your cake. So just mix it until there's no more lumps. So now there you go, super easy cake to mix by hand, takes no time at all. So now let's talk about our tins, or actually they're not tins, they are silicone molds because this is what you need to put into the microwave. These are really inexpensive and I got them online and I'm gonna put a link on my website of where I got them. But you want something like this, an eight or a nine inch mold. Now all you want to do is just take your cake batter and divide it as evenly as you can between the three molds. If you want to make a two tiered cake, that's totally fine too. Looking great. You know, red velvet's one of my favorite cakes and I never had it until I moved to the United States. But man, is it yummy, especially with cream cheese frosting. So ever since I made my first cake in the microwave, the most requested cake you wanted to see next was red velvet. So I really hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so these are looking lovely. Now it's time to pop them into the microwave one by one. Cook your red velvet cake off for roughly two and a half to three minutes. Now the cook time that I give is based on my microwave. My microwave is 1200 watts. So check the washage of your microwave because your timing may vary. You might need a little bit more time or you might need a little bit less. So two and a half minutes later, we have the first layer of our cake. And you can tell that it's baked if you push down on it and it's firm underneath your finger. That means your cake is ready. Also, you can take a toothpick and if you just stick it in the middle of your cake, pull it out and if it comes out clean, your cake is done. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside to cool down and now we're gonna cook off our second layer. So here's the benefit to cooking your cake in the microwave rather than the oven. Number one, microwave takes way less time, only 10 minutes to cook off a whole cake. Number two, the microwave steams your cake. It doesn't have that same dry air that an oven does. So you get a lovely, soft, fluffy cake. So here is our second layer. Now I can tell that it's done because just like the first, you have all these lovely bubbles on top and there's no more wet cake. So this is perfect. Okay, that's number two done. Now we're gonna pop the third and last layer into the microwave. With Valentine's Day coming up, this cake is the perfect gift to give somebody. And best of all, it keeps fresh in an airtight container for up to three days. So there you have it, our third and final layer. All in all, the cake was made in under 10 minutes, which is pretty amazing. So while your cakes are cooling, it is a great time to make your cream cheese frosting. Now I've got a recipe for this on my website. Red velvet and cream cheese frosting go together like peanut butter and jelly. So you're going to want this on your cake. So now my cake is nice and cold, so it's the perfect time to frost it. And here's a little tip. If your cake is actually a day old, it's even easier to frost because it's not as crumbly and soft. So on my first cake layer, I am gonna put a big dollop of cream cheese frosting. Give it a bit of a spread out, bring it all the way to the sides. So you know my approach to cake decorating. I'm pretty rough and ready, but I always make it look beautiful in the end, so stay with me. Okay, nice, that's uh, pretty even. <laughs> I'm gonna put on the next layer and another dollop of cream cheese frosting. 
Somebody gave me this cake stand a few years ago actually and I find it really helpful for cake decorating. They're not that expensive so if you can pick one up I strongly recommend it. Okay and then on with our third layer. So you'll notice that I turned the last layer upside down and I did that because we want a nice flat top because then when you go to decorate it'll be lovely and even. Next step is our crumb layer. Now this is an important layer, especially for this cake, because what it does, it gathers up all of the loose crumbs. So then when you finish decorating, you've got a beautiful finish on the outside. And this is a crumbly cake, which is great because that means it's nice and moist. So I'm just gonna take a big dollop of frosting. So spread it all over the top, then bring it down the sides. All we're aiming for is a thin layer of frosting. Just catch up all of those crumbs. This is gonna look red, it's gonna look muddy. This is the way it's supposed to look. So just make sure you're covered all the way around. Now what you want to do is to put this into the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes. Now we do this because we need it to set because then when we decorate on top, the two layers won't mix. So it's been half an hour, our frosting has set. So now it's time to put on our final layer. Now just like before, we're gonna put a big dollop on the top and then just work from the top, smooth it out and then work the frosting down the sides of the cake. It always helps if you start at the top and then move to the sides. So now don't worry about getting this cake perfectly smooth because it's gonna have a bit of a rustic finish. What we're aiming for here is just to cover over all the crumbs that we got in the first layer and we end up with a lovely white cake all around. Okay, so there you go, our cake is covered and it looks pretty even if I do say so myself. So now I'm just gonna finish it off with a few crumbs. Now these crumbs fell off my cake and I'm just going to dust them around the top of the cake, just around the edge for a little pop of color. This is also the way you would see it decorated in a bakery. This is the way I love to decorate a cake. You take a few cake crumbs, sprinkle it over the top, and you have this fantastic looking cake at the end. This is my kind of decorating. Now I'm just gonna cut through all those lovely three layers. <laughs> this ended up being a pretty big cake. And just check that out. Soft, moist, perfect red velvet. Look at that. I don't think anybody would ever guess that this came from a microwave. And to be honest with you, once they taste it, they're not going to care. Da, 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 da. Super moist cake. Probably the yummiest red velvet I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Soft, easy to make, absolute perfection. This cake is perfect for any celebration and it can all be made in under 10 minutes flat. When you make this cake, please leave a star review on my website because I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.